Hi, and welcome to the special Exact Pro year in review episode from our studio. My name is Dmitry, and we'll be streaming from two separate locations today. Please meet our on site guests Yosif, Kirill, Anna Maria, and Daria. Hi. 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 Hello. We will bridge the distance with our colleagues from all over the world via virtual interviews. So, guys, let's review 2020. Let's try to remember the good stuff, the funny stuff, and let's see the year off on a positive note. At the end of this episode, we'll also announce the word of the year that best reflects the omni-shambles that 2020 has been. So, stay tuned for that. Speaking about the funny stuff, can you imagine people made forecasts for 2020 thinking they could predict how the year would turn out? They should be pretty embarrassed right now. Uh, hang on, didn't, didn't we publish something called 20 questions about 2020 last year? Yeah, we made forecasts. Didn't we? Yeah, I thought just so. a sec, let me see. Hmm, where is it? Oh, here it is. Huh. That will be interesting to see which one is still relevant. Can we see? Yeah, sure. Well, let's look at these pictures and go down the memory lane. I'm going to try and pull it up on my tablet too. Our first question is, do you have systems that you would like to put into life service in 2020? Let's talk to the head of Clearing and Resiliency Division, Alex Bermotin. Hi, Alex. How are you? Hello, Dmitry. I'm fine, thank you. 2020 was an unprecedented year. Do you know if any of the clients were able to put their new platforms into live service, irregardless of the situation? Some people say that it is better not to be in 2020. Yet many of our clients were indeed able to put new platforms into live service. This year's market volatility has taken a toll on global clearing systems with clearing houses seeing historic moves in transaction volumes and sporadic shifts in intraday margin requirements. Markets have also experienced abnormal price fluctuation. Successful deployment of a brand new platform is the testament for the incredible work that you do. I would like to say thank you to everyone who is doing whatever it takes to make it possible. Go life is always a thing to remember, and sometimes a cause for celebration. But the most important release is always the next one. We learn from the past, but we do not rest on the past successes. I wish you many successful go lives and releases in the next year. Let's turn it into continuous deployment and celebration. 12 months in a row. Thank you, Alex. I couldn't agree more. Back to you, Daria. To be fair, the year started out pretty well with the publication of our case study on collaboration with the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in January. Yes, that was a great project um, to enhance both trading and clearing functions of the exchange. On the trading side, it meant migrating its equity, equity derivatives, and FX derivatives markets to the uh, Millennium Exchange and Millennium surveillance platforms provided by LSEC technology. And on the trading, on the clearing side, it meant migrating to the Cenober, now part of NASDAQ real time clearing system. Due to years of experience, uh, we know both platforms pretty well. And I would like to say thank you to everyone who is involved in delivering projects based on these platforms. You are awesome. Yes, and of course, a huge thank you to the Johannesburg Stock Exchange for agreeing to publish the case study. Um, and I hope that the people working in the financial markets will find it very useful. In the case study, we describe our legacy software testing tools, Sailfish, Load Injector, others, a functional and non-functional testing, build software to test software, a solid foundation for the next generation of software testing in this year and next year. 
2020 has transformed the way we work, the way we educate, and certainly the way we collaborate and network with clients, prospects, and partners. What are the last on-site collaborations you guys can remember? If you can, that is because it's starting to feel like we've always been locked up indoors. Last January, I took a trip to Milan uh, to K Financial Forum, uh, just like the year before. And that was the last time I traveled. Certainly seems surreal now. <laughs> I really miss the country, Italian colleagues, literally nel mio cuore per sempre. I hope the lockdown turns soon. The lockdown. Would it make you feel better if we spoke some Italian? Can you? Parli italiano? Sono italiano! Hello and welcome to the special edition of Studiamo l'Italiano con Exact Pro. And today we are going to practice a few phrases in Italian. Okay, class, let's begin! Sviluppiamo di software. Sviluppiamo, Sviluppiamo di, software. di software. Per testare di software. Per, per testare, testare di software. Benvenuti sul canale El Exact Pro. Benvenuti sul canale El Exact Pro. Nel Exact Pro ci occupiamo nel sviluppo di software per testare di software. Nel Exact Pro ci occupiamo sviluppa. Nel sviluppo di software. Nel sviluppo di software per Testare the software. Great. And Kirill? L'Exact Pro è società specializzata e il testing funzionale e non funzionale. Questi servizi le ho offriato a borse, a borse, banchi, altri compagnie finanziarie. Nel tutto il mondo. Oh, great! <laughs> thank you very much, that was really great! <laughs> no, thank you! Molto bene! <laughs> Grazie mille per aver guardato questo video. Ci vediamo al prossimo! Well, that was informative. Anyway, I got another good question from the brochure. Would you like to visit Belisi in 2020? Oh, absolutely! Me too! But well, it's not easy now. <laughs> Some of us managed to visit Belize in early February for a senior management meetup. Yeah, that was nice. We spent two days from morning till late evening outlining the strategy. Mm. Look, we have some evidence. This is our chief software architect, Anton Sitnikov. He is always ahead of his time. <laughs> We've restructured the client-facing teams into eight divisions that will coordinate all our external projects. They are capital markets, market surveillance, clearing and residency, global exchanges, global post trade, swaps and effects, non-functional testing, and distributed ledger technology. We've also appointed heads for each of the divisions. And today, I hope some of them will be able to join us for a short talk. Also, in February, we participated in software testing event in Belize that gathered more than 250 participants. Yes, that's right. I am on with Natya Serbiladze, CEO of Exact Pro Systems Georgia right now. Natya, what is the biggest achievement pre or post pandemic that you are proud of this year? Hello, Exact Pro. Thank you, Dmitry. In early 2020, the Georgian Software Testing Qualifications Board announced their partnership with international exam provider GASC, which allowed software testers and young specialists in all of Georgia to take ISTQB exams closer to their homes. It's a really big step towards advancing excellence in quality insurance. If our viewers want to learn more about ISTQB certification in Georgia, we'll put the link in the description below. Nadia, how would you say 2020 has been treating you? So, remember the two freshly warmed office spaces we prepared for our staff at the end of 2019? They are still just as beautiful. 
but they are now collecting dust. Because just like nearly any IT company, we have switched to working remotely. Our branch is growing at a good pace. We have organized a set of internal training courses to further improve our specialist skill in software development and software testing. However, some of our junior staff still haven't had a chance to meet their colleagues in person. Um, overall, I would say we have adapted pretty well. That's great, Nadia. Speaking of in-person networking, this year's conference schedule was supposed to be pretty packed. I have a head of sales, Michael Smith, whom we asked to help us recollect the last on-site event we took part in. Michael, are you there? Hi, Dimitri. The last event Yosef and I managed to participate in was the QA Financial Forum in London on the 12th of March. We actually had plans for an expansive conference schedule for the rest of the year in locations including Boca Raton, Singapore, Valletta, Paris, Boston, Stockholm, Chicago, and of course, New York. But all these events have moved online. So now all the sites we can see look like this. Anyway, looking forward to more on-site events and digital events in 2021. Thanks. Our business development team is always there for you. Please talk to us if you need any help. Oh, by the way, what happened to our core delivery centers in March? Kirill? On the 17th of March, all exec pro offices switched to the remote way of working due to the global pandemic. Pandemic? We have been working from homes using secure VPNs for the last nine months. We are happy to continue providing the expected quality of services without disruption. In March, ExactPro finalized software testing of Zuber Exchange ahead of its launch. Also, Airbus Skytra selected ExactPro to test its derivatives exchange powered by NASDAQ. Both projects were delivered by the Global Exchanges Division. Should we discuss that? Maybe later. Let's talk about ExactPro in the media. Sure. Yelena joins us today from Cincinnati to tell us more. Hi, Dmitry. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, when you work uh, to ensure the resilience of systemically important market infrastructures, you'd agree that in a job like that, no news is actually good news. However, we are proud to have been featured uh, in quite a number of publications over 2020. This year, we shared our ideas on what's going on in the financial services industry, as well as our insights uh, around uh, the most recent developments in technology and science. Um, throughout 2020, Exact Pro thought leadership pieces, interviews, comments, and opinions were published by Risk.net, Borders Technology, Global Investor, Asset Servicing Times, Fast Execution, Client Desk, Tech Monitor, Box Guide, and many others. Uh, we've accomplished a lot uh, this year and we've shared lots of stories about it. If you missed it, do check out our uh, Exit Pro in the Media section on the website. And uh, I'd also like to take a moment to say thank you to our partners from Green Target who helped us uh, feel that pulse of the industry and share our thoughts with the world. This uh, was undoubtedly uh, a challenging year, but it was a year when we were given a chance to see even more value in our team. These social distance times only emphasize the importance of collaboration, of mentorship, the significance of being able not only work, but exercise, have virtual coffees, and even learn new things together. I'm really grateful to Exact Pro for having all of this, um, though it's been almost a year since we met each other in person. So, um, I wish to everyone on the team to have even more of these precious moments uh, with your colleagues. And to everyone else, uh, this upcoming year, I wish you to find yourself among a team like this. Thank you, Elena. In April, ExactPro announced a project with DEX Digital Asset Exchange in Abu Dhabi. Is this the time to get back to the Global Exchanges Division? 
maybe later. Okay. ClearTH, our test automation framework for post-trade, is now available for software testing of distributed ledger technology applications built using DAML, the open source smart contract language created by Digital Asset. ClearTH automates the validation of the functional workflow of swaps implemented in the IRS and CDS swaps lifecycle module applications based on the common domain model developed by the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, ISDA. Do we have anyone to comment on this press release? Anna Maria? The first guest in our studio today is Dima Doronichev, head of the Global Post Trade Division. Hi, Dima. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be here. I haven't been in the office for a while. <laughs> Post Trade is about building the infrastructure together with partners. This year, we were working with ClearTH all over the globe. It's nice to see the publication of good news about ClearTH. A question we have for you from the last year's brochure is, are you sure that you're not underestimating the complexity of your post-trade platform? Would you say it's still relevant? It is. People still do underestimate the complexity of their systems, reference data, connectivity setup, and their operational lifecycle. I have a serious question for you. Uh, actually, it's very important. Do you think that ClearTH Hedgehog and teach to cat can ever be friends? It's complicated. Their relations are complex. There are many transactions, trade-offs, breaks. Let's all be positive in the new year. Well said. So what is the recipe for doing software testing properly? Well, the recipe is coming up later in this video. Stay tuned. In May, Exactpro received QA Financial's Automation Technology Project of the Year Award in recognition of its work with R3's Corda Enterprise Distributed Ledger Technology. Matthew Crabb, CEO of the QA Financial, says, QA Financial's annual awards recognize innovation and achievement in software quality assurance in financial services. Exactpro's work with R3's Distributed Ledger Platform is a great example of how important software testing is to the development of the new financial technologies, and how automated testing technologies in particular are critical to the functioning of complex markets. Who is the best person to comment on the award? Marina Kudryavtseva, head of DLT division. Welcome, Marina. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, Marina. Um, I'm very proud that the work of our team was recognized. It is inspiring to be at the forefront of innovation. That's great. Your team is doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Marina, we have a question from the last year's brochure. Would you like to team up and build next-gen platforms on R3 Corda? Would you say the question still stands? Yes, absolutely. Corda Enterprise 4.7 and Corda Enterprise Network Manager 1.5 were just released. I'm very much looking forward to Corda 5 announced on CordaCon 2020. This year, this conference was massive. Yes, it was. Please do talk to us if you want to transform your business with the use of distributed ledger technology. I wish everyone a very happy, decentralized new year. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Marina. In June, we published testing and test automation for market surveillance systems case study. Let's discuss. Our head of the market surveillance division is here today. Hi, Anton. Hi, Anton. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, it is not easy to find flows in the systems that look for small traces into large volume of real-time data. And I would like to say thank you to the team for their hard work, and we have more work to do. The clear trend uh, for the next year is a wider adoption of cloud and machine learning into market surveillance. And the question is, are firms ready to test their AI-based systems ability to generalize? Well, development teams are still focused on ability to learn and a pro proper end-to-end -end, uh, testing for AI-based system is still an afterthought. But we are on the right track. Thank you, Anton. Thank you. I wish everyone a happy new year. 
Remember, Santa is out there and he has cutting edge surveillance system in place. You better behave. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas! That's the spirit. ExactPro was named Managed Support Service Provider of the Year by RiskNet. Let's read what the judges said. ExactPro is tightly focused on independent software testing and quality assurance with extensive tools and test library. Many operational resilience events have been caused by issues when migrating to new platforms. ExactPro deals with this risk and provides a source of quality assurance, rigorously developed testing tools, technologies, and processes. In July, another press release was published. Equiduct engages ExactPro in quality assurance of its software. The Global Exchanges Division can provide assistance to any MTF or ATS. Should we talk about that? We'll get there eventually. All right. Uh, another question from the list then. Can machines learn from mistakes or is that a bunch of malarkey? Hmm, malarkey. Software testing is relentless learning. Automated testing is machine learning. In August, we participated in the second IEEE Artificial Intelligence Testing Conference and presented our results in this area. Next year, we'll have several interesting AI systems to test. I'm looking forward to it. That's something to look forward to indeed. Well, shall we take another question from the brochure? Let's look. All right. Um, would you like to participate in developing cross-industry quality and reliability standards? I have a video just for this one. The value of soft skills increases dramatically when people face critical situations. Our partner Zero Outage Industry Standard Association, together with the University of Vienna, created a soft skills training course that covers interpersonal interaction in our day-to-day -day activities at work and in critical situations. Exact Pro Senior Management Team was happy to have the opportunity to join the training. If I had to pick a part that I liked the most, it would be the one about active listening. The skill of active listening helps to build trust, increase the team's productivity, build strong workplace relationships, and even prevent and resolve conflicts. The second aspect of the training I would like to mention is an outage simulation exercise. I would say this is a must-do exercise for IT teams. Do get in touch with the Zero Outage Industry Standard team to learn more about the training courses they offer. Joining us today is HR Director of Exact Pro, Yelena Rusakova. Welcome, Yelena. Hi, Hi, Elena. Hi, Hello. everyone. Uh, I've been in the studio recently and we were recording a promo video for Zero Outage about their soft skills training. And I'm glad to be here uh, again and see you all. It's great to have you back. Absolutely. We turned 11 in September. We managed to build back better this year after the management buyout and we became 600 people strong. <laughs> I know it's not easy for everyone to work outside the office we missed both the September Fest and New Year celebration this year. I hope that we will manage to catch up uh, in 2021. I encourage everyone to participate in different activities, support each other, provide useful feedback, and also stay positive and healthy. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Lena. <laughs> Speaking about activities, we have managed to organize a lot, even with social distancing. Social distancing? ExactPro United in Motion Challenge involved 119 of us to compete in walking, jogging, cycling, swimming, and burning calories. In our company, we have a special division responsible for being stronger and faster. Meet Pavel Medvedev the head of our non-functional testing division. Hi, everyone. I want to say a couple of words about the challenge in 2020 year. We all know it was very special and full of events, which no one expected or predicted. It was a stressful year for all of us whenever we allocated. We saw the words, it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when in action. Market volumes and volatility increased drastically. Most of exchange infrastructures hit their limits, 
and several of them couldn't sustain. Fortunately, our clients were able to deal with high market activity without major outages. I am proud of our findings and precautions we are taken into account and fixed or actioned. It definitely helped. We also have several initiatives across our company to encourage us employees to improve our health and to resist to COVID-19 and other flus. Unfortunately, human body has very limited failover capabilities, but we can improve the performance of its components. One of our company's mottos is never stop testing and you never stop, and you'll never stop improving. It makes perfect sense when we talk about the human body. In other words, keep moving and your body will be much more resistant to the attacks from the environment. Humans were created by Mother Nature for running. It's awesome that many of our team members support such initiatives. And it's even more inspiring that maybe for some of us it was a starting point for engaging in sport activities. For some of us it has not so yet. I want to wish everyone to continue to keep up with your, per with your personal performance improvements, have less stress, find work out way ways to become resilient to challenges and changes, improve your skills to go beyond your limits, have fun with your friends and love your family. See ya! To cheer you up, two more press releases from September. ExactPro supports Pixie in quality assurance of automated chatbots. And ExactPro and Quad Financial utilize a data-driven approach to software testing. In October, we released our new video. Please watch a snippet from it. That is the fact that software is consuming the world. What is the one thing that will have the most profound effect on whether this trend is socially desirable, citizen-centric, and undertaken for the public interest. I'm here at the Test World headquarters where just a few hours ago minor software problems intensified and set fire to a production environment. The visitors of the theme park were assaulted by mostly peaceful androids after their last upgrade. Kirill, do you think that this could have been prevented by outsourcing QA to a specialist firm? Um... Not sure, Dmitry. Uh, software testers continue to claim without evidence that testing should be independent. Build software to test software is the way towards resiliency. We constantly look for better ways to detect problems and we learn from failure. Software testing is relentless learning. If you want to invest in solving a true existential problem, then software testing for complex, non-deterministic, distributed systems is what you're looking for. Looks perfect to me. Why did we call it an imperfect pitch? We prepared the video for the perfect pitch competition during Cybus 2020 in October. And our pitch is invest in software testing, build a more resilient future. The video was censored a little bit and it never made it to, uh, to the finals. So that is the idea behind the name, imperfect pitch. I'm the one responsible for the failure. Yes, you are. It was, <laughs> it was your idea uh, to film it about the elections. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Anyway, we're trying to cover some questions from the list here. So let's take a look. Uh, what's the difference between shift left testing and independent software testing? Here's the deal, folks. Software testers have cloaked this industry in defects for much too long. Too much anger, too much fear, too much division. Let me take this moment to say something we don't say often enough. Instead of standing there and submitting defects, why not prevent them? It's not a joke. Who needs more bug tracking systems? We have unit tests. Come on, man. The software works perfectly fine. Well, there's a lot to unpack here. He should have said, this software works perfectly fine in my basement. Defects prevention is a fascinating topic. To err is human. To get rid of all defects, one needs to get rid of all humans. It is the hard truth. You can't handle the truth! We have a next question. Um, which do you prefer, knowing the truth about your systems or being happy? Good evening. Hi, Dimitri. It is good to have you with us. 
Your team barely submit any defects against the platform your developers are working on. Does it mean the software is okay? It is fine. I don't want people to panic. Managers get upset when there are problems. I want everyone to be happy. Believe me, we have a huge test management system. It is incredible. We have all requirements stored in it, and we have a test scenario for every requirement. And there is tremendous traceability between them. It is beautiful, and we have no problems with defects because all test scenarios are written before we start the development. It is great. So your team is also very agile, and requirements change frequently. They do, but I'm not talking about requirements, Dmitri. They can change totally. I'm talking about test scenarios. They should all be written in advance. It's always a good thing. It helps developers a lot, and I'm going to automate everything bigly. Thank you. This voice seems familiar to me. Is that you talking? <laughs> Kirill, what did you mean when saying, I want everyone to be happy? <laughs> okay. And our next question is, are you tired of running in circles trying to implement Agile? As expected, your colleagues are outraged. Oh, they are always complaining about the lack of test automation, but never about their inability to test. <sighs> it's the beginning of the end of quality. It will never work. But it has never been tried. Yes, it has. No! Yes, whenever it went wrong, it was because of external no. constraints, or because it happened in the wrong place, no. or because the wrong people took over. Yes! The walls are closing in! What's wrong? It's the tipping point. We should not stick to practices that just feel good. There is nothing wrong with traceability. Unless it's fake. We need to reflect the true complexity of the software under test. Yes! Anna Maria, one of these faces seems familiar. <laughs> one more question. Software defects, noise or hidden value? It's fair to say that there is lots of work ahead of us. Software bugs are discrepancies between expectations and reality. There is a fuel for learning. I think we'll spend quite a lot of time next year looking for better answers and better ways of delivering software. Well said. <laughs> Our video clearly raised more questions and answers. What's next? Exact Pros, a learnable DAO was named Rising Star in European Women in Finance Awards. Now, finally, it's time to discuss our Global Exchanges Division. And the Rising Star herself is here in our studio. Hi, Alona. Hello, it's good to be here. Love that Cybos video, Anna Maria. Where are your two replicas? <laughs> 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 nice one. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to business. The next question on our list is, do you know the gaps in your test coverage? A good question indeed. The more we know, the more we realize how much we don't know. I wonder how that line would look in a testing report. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to wish everyone from Sydney to Toronto, from Stockholm to Tokyo, a very happy software testing new year. Thank you. Thank you. Hey folks, I think we, we could cover the next two questions together. Would you like to join us on our social media to see what we're up to? And have you watched our YouTube channel lately? Um, if only we had a marketing director to answer those. Hi, I couldn't wait to catch you up on our social networks. Social nets became an even more important part of our life and a more preferred way to communicate with friends, relatives and the whole world in 2020. This year, we have been working hard to create more than 80 educational videos that you can find on the Exact Persistence YouTube channel. We have launched two new series reviewing the ICQB Foundation Level Certification and FAQ's AI and Software Testing Exam. These will be helpful to everyone wanting to jumpstart their professional career and explore the inner workings of software testing. We have also launched the Test World Reboot mini-series explaining the software testing challenges we raised earlier in our production of Test World. We have been keen on highlighting such topics as machine learning, DLT, cloud computing and extending the collection of our open source toolkit tutorials. If you missed the launch of Teach2, our next-gen test automation framework, you can watch the launch video on our channel as well. 
This year, the Exact for Systems YouTube channel has received almost 900,000 views and added over 600 subscribers. We are constantly working on developing high quality content for you across all Exact for social media. Recently, we have passed the mark of 1,000 followers on Instagram and 3,700 followers on LinkedIn. We look forward to seeing you all with us. And if you are not a subscriber yet, please find us on social networks on your screen. And we are now getting back to our studio. Stay with us, there are more 2020 updates ahead. Dmitry? Thanks, Anna Maria. We have another guest joining us remotely, Sergei Pavlov, head of our largest division, Capital Markets. Hi, Sergei. Hello, Dmitry. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's good to be here. I like to talk to audiences. Thanks for having me. The best software testing tool is the human brain. We have a lot of it in capital markets. But as 2020 is coming to an end, I think there is one problem which can have a negative impact on our main tool. I have decided to dedicate my segment to talk about burnout. Burnout is exhaustion of physical or emotional strength or motivation, usually as a result of prolonged stress or frustration. Exhaustion, negative stress response. Cynicism, negative response to job and others. Inefficacy, negative response to oneself. Burnout is not a synonym to boredom, laziness, lack of creativity or workaholism. It is also not a health disorder, but can lead to it. If you only have inefficacy, you are inefficient. If you only have cynicism, you are disengaged. If you only have exhaustion, you are overextended. But if you have all three, you are in burnout. Please. Do take care of yourself and others. We can achieve much more when we are engaged. Do you have any questions for Sergei? I'm sure Daddy has at least one. One more question. Do you have an end-to-end -end integration testing environment? No, we have not been able to build it yet. But it happens all the time, right? And I'm so... Sorry. Just kidding. We do have it now, and I'm very happy and proud to work alongside you folks. I would like to say thank you to everyone participating in the resiliency program. Our division is the largest one for a reason. It's our engine, and it pushes the whole company forward to infinity and beyond. Happy New Year! The last but not least of our division heads is Olga Buyanova. Hello, Olga. Hello, Dmitry. Hello, Xacro team. Hello, everyone who is working with Swaps, Forex and other asset classes. This year marks the 10th anniversary of our work with Interdealer Broker. Our division introduced the practice of finding defects in the confluence of functional and non-functional testing. We've implemented the first massive data processing tool for implied liquidity, TVR. And also, our division is the cradle of Exact Pro's external development team. I would like to say thank you to all software developers and testers and look forward to build a better software together in the future. Thank you, Olga. Daria, back to you. Here's a question that did not stand the test of time. Would you like to become an Extend 2020 speaker? Let's ask Thomas Toller, the Managing Director of Exact Pro Systems LLC, the group's branch in the United States. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Dimitri. Happy holidays. A year ago, we were planning the first Extend conference over here in New York. It would have been a great place to launch TH2. North America is home to some of the world's largest equities and futures exchange groups, banks, brokers, liquidity and infrastructure providers. 2020 has seen many changes in the way people do business. We're looking forward to a time when it will be safe to meet with the financial community here again in person, and we can get back to our mission of promoting the deliberate practice of software testing across the world. Thank you, Thomas. 
We are all looking forward to the next extent in New York. And now, back to our studio. Now it's time to release the Kraken. The Kraken. Oh, Natalia, surprisingly, you don't look like a Kraken at Thanks. all. <laughs> in our studio, we have Natalia Krukova, the project manager responsible for TH2 platform. Hello. Hi, Natalia. Hi, Natalia. Hi. Hi. Natalia, I have a question for you. Do you think people should visit ExactPro's GitHub repository? Yeah, they should. I'm very proud that we managed to release uh, the next generation uh, test framework into open source. It's a remarkable achievement. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, now we also have a name for this framework. It's TH2. I'll spell it for you. TH2. Uh, we had to find a name that uh, did not refer to a geographical location, an animal or an individual, and which is also pronounceable and uh, related to software testing. So why did you pick the cat as the mascot? Uh, we followed the science, uh, we collected data, uh, then asked uh, to choose between an octopus, a spider and the cat. Um, and most of the respondents voted for a cat, so the people have spoken. Everyone likes cats. Democracy won. I'm looking forward to rolling out Teach2 across all our projects next year. Here, here, here. here. <laughs> to follow up on that, here's one of the key questions from last year's brochure. Did you know that in 2020, we will migrate all our test tools to a new microservices-based platform? Now this is it. Dmitry, over to you. And we have Alexis Vedev, CEO and co-founder of ExactPro on the line. Hello, everyone. Hope you are having fun in ExactPro Studios. The good news is that we do have a microservices-based solution, and we are in the process of migrating of all our test tools to it. There is still plenty of work to do, but we are on the right track probably will need to add a little bit more pace. During the transition, we will support our clients, partners, and internal teams, as Maxim Rudovsky, our CTO, and I are now in London on a more permanent basis. Maxim? Hi, Alexei. Hi, everyone. I cannot say it, but moving away from home has been easy. Neither has this past year. But results are impressive. I want to say thank you to all of you for the work you have done. Our development team has been growing each year. And despite the situation in 2020, this year was not an exception. We have managed to roll out a new technology stack for our testing platform. We continue to work on many important external development projects. And right now we are in the process of onboarding a few more. I wish you all to acquire new skills and learn exciting new technology in 2021. Happy coding. Thank you, Maxim. I also would like to say thank you to everyone, to software developers for building TH2 and other tools, to DevOps and IT support for making it operational, to software testing for using it across the board, to marketing and business development teams for spreading the word, to administration and HR that helps everyone else to focus on their job, to exact pro management team it's an honor and pleasure to work with you all on a daily basis. I would like to say thank you to all our clients and partners. ExecPro only exists because you put your trust in us. I wish our clients growth, resiliency, health, luck, and success in 2021. Happy New Year! Thank you, Alexei. Now, my colleagues, Alona, Dmitri, and Marina will whip up a software testing feast. So feast your eyes. That's all for me today. Over to you guys, and Happy New Year! Hello, and welcome to the special edition of Baking with ExactPro. Today, we will show you how to do a software testing the way it's supposed to be done. Sugar. Spice. And everything nice. But to make it exceptional, we also need to add an extra ingredient. Chemical X. Baking soda. Yes. Butter is essential. It's like software testing for transformational projects. We break the illusion. 
that software works. We combine everything together. From time to time, the test manager has to get his hands dirty. Can we roll it out now? It takes time to cool down. If you rush it, your testing will be out of shape. When the things start to heat up, hard work and technology excellence is a solid foundation for everything else. There are three main ingredients of software testing. People, processes, and platforms. At Exactro, all three ingredients have been baked to perfection over the last 11 years. They can be seasoned to your taste when served. Software testing is context dependent. Let's do it! This is it for today. Thank you for watching our special edition of Baking with Exact Pro. Happy, Happy New Year! Year! Now we know. And the last question remains. Can you guess it? Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? Isn't it a perfect one for 2020? It is. And the word of the year is... It is test -xit. Huh. Means schadenfreude when others decided not to test. I hope this word stays in 2020. Stay home, stay safe, and I hope to see you all soon. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year!